come to preach today about Jesus Christ. Today is Resurrection Day, the day that the Lord rose again from the dead. Many people know about Jesus. They think it's a fable or maybe just a story from history that doesn't apply today. But let me tell you, Jesus Christ died on the cross and he shed his blood because man is wicked. The Bible says, for all have sinned and fall short of the glory of God. There is none righteous. No, not one. My friend, every day, people are doing things that go opposed to what God's holy word says, and there's a consequence. We have a problem with sin. It's an epidemic, worse than a pandemic. It's something that is destroying mankind and separating them from a loving God that sent his only son. You see, the problem is no one has a problem when I preach about Buddha or Hinduism or maybe some other God that's raised up from this world, but at the name of Jesus, suddenly people are bothered by that. Their consciences, they're aware of guilt, they're aware of sin. The Bible says when the Holy Ghost has come, he will reprove the world of sin, of his righteousness, and judgment to come. Some of you out here today, Jesus is the furthest thing from your minds. Maybe you're here on vacation. Maybe you skipped church today. Maybe you couldn't find a church open today. Many are closed down. Because the Bible says there would be a great falling away. Many would defect from the truth, from the holy commandments given by God's word, because they love pleasures rather than love God. It's, no, it's not hard to find idolatry today. You can look over at that stadium today, and during the season it will fill up, but you'll find the house of God without anybody. You're going to serve a God. You're created to worship something. And you're going to take on the image of whatever you worship. I can talk to you in five and ten minutes and find out what you're passionate about, what you love. Whatever you spend the most of your free time doing is a good indicator of what you worship. Now, some people say, well, I don't bow down to statues, but do you worship celebrities? Do you spend five, six hours in front of your television idol, giving it homage, giving it respect? What is the diet of your soul? Are you feeding yourself up with rated R movies? In this society, they'll call good evil and evil good. But there is a right way still. There is a holy way. The Bible says in Isaiah, there is a highway of holiness. There is a truth today that does not perish, but will endure forever. Jesus Christ is that truth, and I'm here to preach to you about him. Jesus says, I am the way, the truth, and the life, and no man comes to the Father but by me. Hinduism is false. Buddhism is false. Islam is false. There are not many roads to God. There's only one road. And at the name of Jesus Christ is the only way of salvation. Today, if you are searching for the meaning of your existence in your life, your, your hope today is in Jesus. Jesus Christ is willing no one perish. But he wants you to hear this message. You may have thought you came here to see Nashville. You may have thought you just came to see the sights. But God has you here tonight for a specific reason, not just to take a picture, but to hear this eternal message that can very well save your soul. Or if you choose to refuse it, it will be to your condemnation at the judgment seat of God. God has you here for a reason that you would know that Jesus Christ did die for you. You can plug your ears. You can try to block it out of your mind. You can just ask what you're going to eat for dinner or dessert tonight and just block out what I'm saying. But my friend, one day you're going to stand before God. It is appointed once for man to die and after this the judgment. My friends, today, many people believe whatever the news says, whatever the media says, whatever the magazine says. Some of you believe whatever a co-worker says, but few of you believe God's Word. God's Word will never fail. It's a foundation that has stood sure. You can try to disprove it, I challenge you. You can try to put up the works of men against God's Word, and God's Word still says, all fall short of the glory of God. For the wages of sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life. How many people under the sound of my voice claim to know Jesus? Are you really a Christian? What does a Christian mean? A Christian means Christ-like. Amen. Amen. Christ-like. Jesus says, if you love me, keep my commandments. Do you keep his commandments? Or do you keep some of his commandments? There's a lot of denominations out there. Some believe once saved, always saved. You can live in sin. You can just give a mental assent. Some people believe in all kinds of different doctrines of men. 
Some people don't believe in the baptism of the Holy Ghost. It's in God's Word. Today, you're going to stand before God. You're going to have to give an account for the message you've heard today. May 30th, 2021. Some people only go to church one day a week. They think that's enough. I tell you, to keep the commandments of God, it shouldn't be grievous. It shouldn't be a burdensome thing. But the thing is, God wants to change your heart, to give you a heart that wants to please Him. My friends, if you want to hear what God has to say about the condition of this world, it's not looking good because God is going to judge the world. He's going to judge it for its drunkenness. It's go He's going to judge it for its country music. He's going to judge it for its rap music. And all the filth of the flesh that's promoted through a microphone of music, speaking about adulteries, fornications, this society is in desperate need of God. Because if you're going to try to justify yourself and come another way than Jesus Christ, if you don't obey His commandments, then the Bible says that's transgression. That rebellion is as the sin of witchcraft. And stubbornness is as idolatry in God's sight. In 1 Corinthians chapter 6, verse 9, it does say, it says that drunkards will not go to heaven. It says fornicators will not go to heaven. Society might think it's normal to teach elementary age stu students about sex. Sex is designed for marriage. The Bible says marriage is honorable and all in the bed undefiled, but whoremongers and adulterers God will judge. My friend, are you under that judgment? If you would die today in your sins, you would be separated from a holy God to spend an eternity in hell. Hell is a real place, ladies and gentlemen. I don't get paid to be here. I'm just concerned about your soul, and I want you to know the Savior that can deliver you, that you don't have to pay that horrible price. You say, well, isn't God good? Yes, He's good. And any just judge that's good is going to bring a righteous judgment. If I asked any of you, I said, where is Adolf Hitler today? Where is Joseph Stalin today? Where are the people that have done horrible crimes against humanity? Many of you would say without a shadow of a doubt, they're in hell today. So you believe there is a hell. You believe there is a judgment because you don't believe people should be able to get away with crimes of killing six million people. You believe there's going to be some kind of punishment, right? Well, the just judge of all the earth will do right. God has a holy standard and a holy law, and he will judge all liars. Have you ever told a lie? Many of you say everybody lies. No, everybody does not continue to lie. The Bible says all liars will go to a lake of fire. Some people believe in telling a white lie. Some people lie to get off work, tell the boss that they're sick. They're not sick, they lie. Some people lie on their taxes. Some people lie to their kids. Some people tell all kinds of things to cover themselves and cover other people. Don't you let God bring conviction and draw you to Him that you will humble yourself and repent and you can find mercy today? How many people are lying to themselves, lying to people around God? says that you must repent and turn to him. Joseph Smith is a false prophet, wicked, child molester. That's history. Mormons are not saved. Catholics are not saved. Jehovah Witnesses are not saved. You must believe all God's word. There's a lot of people that have conservative values that are still lost. They're still trusting in their ways.